dear students today we are going to summarize the second chapter of our prose that is an extract from a novel pride and prejudice written by jane austen the chapter is named as an excellent father an excellent father is an extract from jane austen's famous novel pride and prejudice the main theme of the play is marriage the novel shows how women marry men they are not in love with simply in order to gain financial security the important characters of this passage are mr and mrs bennet jane elizabeth and mr bingley now let's try to have an idea about the different characters in this chapter mr bennet mr bennet is a gentleman who lives with his wife and five daughters mrs bennet his wife is a foolish quick-tempered woman her chief aim in life is to find rich husbands for her daughters. Jane is the eldest of the Bennet daughters and also the prettiest. Elizabeth is the second of the Bennet daughters. She is also called as Lizzie. Kitty is the fourth of the Bennet daughters. Charles Bingley, a rich, handsome, eligible and single gentleman. Mrs. Long, she is their neighbour. Netherfield Park, which is vacant for a long time, is at last taken by a wealthy and dashing young gentleman whose name is Mr. Bingley. When Mrs. Bennet comes to know about it, she becomes extremely happy because she desires that Mr. Bingley might marry one of her daughters. She wants her husband, Mr. Bennet, not to miss such a golden opportunity for the sake of her daughters. She apprehends that some other mother, having marriageable daughters, might exploit such a glorious opportunity. When Mrs. Bennet tells her husband if he has heard that Netherfield Park has been taken by a rich young man, Mr. Bennet, intentionally, in order to irritate her, says no. Mrs. Bennet becomes impatient and tells her husband that it's true and the dashing young gentleman is very rich and he is a glorious thing for their daughters. Mr. Bennet further irritates his wife, Mrs. Bennet, more than when he tells her how the young Bingley is a fine thing for their daughters. Mrs. Bennet tells that as Mr. Bingley is rich and single, she is thinking of him marrying one of their daughters. Mr. Bennet asks her if it is Mr. Bingley's plan to settle at Netherfield Park. Mrs. Bennet angrily retorts him that he shall not talk like this. Mrs. Bennet insists her husband to visit Mr. Bingley as soon as possible, but Mr. Bennet tells her that he has no time to visit him. He adds that she and the girls may go themselves and perhaps Mr. Bingley might like her the best of the party. Mrs. Bennet now tells her husband that he takes delight in vexing her and he has no compassion on her poor nerves. Mr. Bennet responds her back that her nerves are his old age-old friends and he respects them. Mrs. Bennet also expresses her husband that he does not know how much she suffers. Mr. Bennet replies to her that she will get over it and see many rich young men in their neighborhood. Mrs. Bennet pours out that it will be of no benefit since he will not visit any of them. Mr. Bennet is actually also interested in Mr. Bingley to the extent his wife is. He enjoys the moments with his wife. He feels excited to see the irritation on his wife's face. Mr. Bennet was the most eager person who waited Mr. Bingley. He had always intended to visit him, though till last he is telling his wife that he would not visit him. Later in the day, on seeing his daughter Lizzie trimming a hat, Mr. Bennet tells her that he hopes Mr. Bingley might like it. Mrs. Bennet is now furious. She angrily pours out that they are not to know what the young Bingley likes because they are not visiting him. On hearing this, Lizzie tells her mother that they are meeting Mr. Bingley as Mrs. Long has promised to introduce him. Mrs. Bennet pours out that Mr. Long, Mrs. Long will not do such a thing as, has, as she has two nieces of her own. She is a selfish woman. Meanwhile, Kitty is coughing badly. When Mrs. Bennet hears her cough, she scolds her and tells her to have mercy on her nerves and do not cough like it for God's sake. Kitty replies that she does not cough for her own amusement. She is ill. Now Mr. D Bennet discloses 
that he has already visited Mr. Bingley and cannot miss the familiarity with him. All the girls are extremely surprised and happy. Mrs. Bennet now merrily tells Mr. Bennet that she knew she could persuade him at the end. When Mr. Bennet leaves, Mrs. Bennet tells her daughters that they have an excellent father.